All right, so this is gonna be kind of a intro to this Creality Ender 3 V3 SE 3D printer. I'm totally new to 3D printers, never touched one, used one, have no idea how to use one. Got a good deal on this one, it's a, uh, it's a refurb uh, from Creality on eBay, pay $99 for it. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna unbox, put it together and try to do a first print and kind of walk you through that whole process. I'm actually going to weigh on the total unboxing because I like how this is kind of set up in there with the gantry or whatever. I don't know if I have a good place to put that. So I think I'm just going to leave that in there for now and take a look at the instruction manual. All right, so I checked everything it's supposed to come with. It looks like I got all my fasteners. See, I kind of lined them up to match whatever's in the book. Got my fasteners, I've got my tool kit, a little whatever that is, and all the other stuff. And it looks pretty straightforward to assemble. Uh, so the first step is just to attach the gantry to the base. I'm just using some screws. So you use an M3 by 14 screws first, which are gonna be these guys, to screw them from the bottom. And then the M3 by eight, which, I think are these two guys over here, the little black ones, to uh, put the gantry on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. All right, so I got those six bolts in, those three. Another three down there. And so next, that's what it shows there. Now I'm gonna set it down on its base. It looks like I add these M3 by eight, which are gonna be these two little black guys uh, on the top. So I'll do that next. All right, so I put the two screws in here it told me to put. I also noticed that these were kind of loose, so I tightened these up on both sides. Again, this is a refurbished unit, uh, so maybe that's why. I can also tell this is definitely used because you can see somebody has printed on this before. So, all right, next step. Looks like you gotta put the display screen on, and then, uh, so that goes here on the side, and then mount this little filament holder. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Looks like I got three screws that go for there and two screws for that. So I'll do those two next. Okay, so those went on pretty easy. Don't forget to plug in the wiring back here. So next is just to plug in more wires. So um, yeah, I'll just to kind of follow the instructions, follow these in. It looks like after you plug in this cable in here, you got to screw in this little piece on top of it. it has got two loose screws there. And then after that, plug it in and start it up. So after that, oh, I guess you can do the filament and install it. So I'll do that too. And then I'll move it where I'm gonna put it and uh, start it up. Okay, so when you're putting this in, just make sure these two little tabs on either side, there's one here and one here, are flipped out so they flip away. Then you can drop the plug in it only goes in one way. There's a little notch on the back of it. Push it down past these little grabbers. Once it's down far enough, these will spring back and clip on it. And you just screw that on. And then uh, you have to plug this in too and then shove this wire in between here so it keeps it out of the way. And then plug that one in down there. And then that's it. Just plug in the power cable in the back and go hook it up to the computer. I take that back. It doesn't hook up to a computer. You just uh, 
upload stuff with a memory stick to the side. So no need to hook it up to a computer, just power. All right, so I just realized that, yeah, it doesn't have to be next to a computer. So you can set it up wherever you want. So I plugged it in, powered it on. Um, when I turned it on, this wanted to go to the left and this cable was over the track. So make sure the cable's behind it. It also made some weird noises, like it wanted to go up, but it was already maxed up. So it started kind of shaking. Hopefully that's okay. But basically I just picked the language English and click setup and it just started doing stuff. So um, just gonna let it keep going. I'm gonna plug in the memory card. Hopefully there's already a, a test piece on there and I can start printing something. So it's probably been running like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, going through these steps. So now it's finally doing the nozzle auto Z offset. There's my kid. And uh, yeah, so it's, I don't know what it's doing. Don't touch it, Sam, okay? So, oh, looks like it's done. So maybe I can, I'm planning to put in the memory state that came with it, see if I can load a file and start printing. We'll see. Okay, now it's doing some <laughs> auto leveling thing. So again, it's been uh, 10 or 15 minutes since I turned it on, plugged it in. So it's got some stuff to do. Okay, so I finished leveling. I put the uh, little SD card it came with in there. So now I'm gonna click print. So I can have the cat option. Uh, I'm gonna just hit confirm and go for it. Let's see what happens. All right, and it is printing. So it looks like whoever had this before me must have started printing this because uh, I could see the previous outline of this on the plate. So it's kind of funny. But um, yeah, it doesn't tell me remaining time, unfortunately. Still 0%, but uh, yeah, I'll check in on it every so often. Okay, so this is finally saying it's gonna, well, this keeps updating on time, but it's been printing for about 10 minutes. You see how much has happened. So it's showing like over three hours, almost four hours, so. I looked it up, it said that max speed of this, so if you click on two, printing speed, it says at 100. It says max speed is 250, but it's all normal speed of 180. So I'm about this up to like 150 and see what that does. Okay, so I went from 3, 48, 3 hours and 48 to 3 hours and 23 minutes, so that's pretty good. Depending on how it goes, I might bump it up to 180 or 200. Something I actually thought of is make sure that this doesn't put out too much heat so I don't burn my table. But it's like normal. Surface temp is 80. If I look up underneath there, maybe it gets up to like 90 max. Not too hot. That's a little bit hotter. Anyways, looks like the table should be fine. But we'll find out later. Alright, so we've been going for about 31 minutes. We're still at the 150 uh, speed. Um we're making some progress. Um how? But how hot is my um, there's a cat Alright, there it is. An hour 17. Uh, I think. I don't know how to take this off, to be honest. I've seen people like. Bend it. Oh, okay. I think you can bend this. Or use a scraper. I'm going to try two hands. Okay, yeah, so all I did was kind of grab it and bend it like that. And then it popped it off. Cool, there it is. That's how much of this I got left, so it doesn't look like used real much of any. And I got a cool little cat. So, hope this was helpful. Uh, I am pleasantly shocked at how quickly I was able to build something and how easily. And uh, yeah, excited to use this a lot.
in the coming days, weeks, and years. So if you're on the fence, definitely buy one, especially if you can get it for $99 refurbished like this one. Um, but yeah, any questions, just uh, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.